BBC Research and Development has shaped the future of broadcasting for the BBC. For the first time ever, as part of civilizations, we're opening up our tools and technologies to the cultural sector. Going beyond broadcast, going into the wide open space of R&D, feels very fresh and exciting. This is technology that I've heard about, but I've never actually had a go with before. Incredibly exciting ideas and projects, full of imagination and creativity. Bringing together technology and arts and culture has fused together something that, you know, just opens up the possibilities. Over the last year, we've made and tested more than 30 prototypes, all new digital story formats, rethinking the way we tell new stories for hard to reach audiences, like the under 35s. We've now launched pilots of the best formats from this project on the BBC News website to learn more. From expanding explainers to choose your own format guides, the response we've had already has been really positive. People are more engaged with the stories and find the formats help them understand. Today we're at the Arnolfini in Bristol by the waterside and we're running a workshop to test out our new object based tools so we've got producers and developers here in Bristol to get their hands dirty with them. Object based is a new way of storytelling based entirely on a person's context so that's their circumstance, the device they're using and any preferences that they might have. And this kind of thing will enable new ways to engage with audiences. Producers can create adaptive, responsive experiences that really talk to an individual or a group of people. BBC R&D has always strived to help the BBC improve the quality of its output. As a recent example, we ran trials on iPlayer to live stream the World Cup and Wimbledon in ultra high definition and high dynamic range over the internet. We learned a lot from the trial, got some great audience feedback, and moved live UHD production forward. But quality is not just about how the pictures look. For internet-delivered television in particular, quality also means reliability. And delivering reliable UHD streams over the internet at scale is hard. At BBC R&D, we've been planning how to deal with these problems, and looking towards a future where all television will be delivered over the internet. We're here today to do the world's first live interactive object-based radio drama. So this is Studio 30D in Broadcasting House, and as part of the Orpheus project, we've turned it into an object-based production studio. We're developing the tools for creating end-to-end object-based broadcast chains. We've got three characters, and the audience will be able to choose which character's point of view they hear the drama from. Okay, right, ready? Ready to go live in five, ready. four, three, Two, one. So you're saying the mermaid made her drink the bottle? She really wanted was a mermaid. Okay. Trust is the center of the BBC. Um, it's in our remit, it's so important. How ethical can we be with this data? How can we provide this data to you so you can make choices, informed choices, about what you want, what you don't want? Data box is, is a box that can sit in your home. It can be a real box, a physical box, uh, but it's in your house and it's a gateway to your data and the outside world. And the idea there is that instead of sending data to, to, to the cloud, the data stays at the edge of the network and the edge of the network would be your home. What it fundamentally tries to encourage is people not taking, or you know, third parties, not taking your data away, but processing it locally at the edge to deliver a service for you. So, how do you invent the future? At the BBC's Research and Development Lab, we were asked to invent a completely new version of radio. Not a new radio player, 
Not a new radio show, but a whole new way of experiencing radio. Yikes. How would you invent what isn't there? Go on, close your eyes and invent a new colour that no one has ever seen before. See? Hard, isn't it? Well, we came up with not one, but nine totally new radio experiences. And this video will tell you how we did it. One feature of HBB TV is the ability to synchronise the phone or tablet with the TV. And this opens up lots of possibilities, including accessibility ones. So you could have things like commentaries or audio description delivered to your phone or tablet. Another thing that HBB TV enables is content substitution. And this is where you're watching a broadcast, but then certain content in that broadcast, such as programmes or trailers, is replaced with content delivered over IP. This has the potential to allow broadcasting to become a cost-effective mix of traditional broadcast content and personalised content such as uh, local or regional programming or trailers or programmes that are tailored to the audience's interests. The world is changing. There are lots more possibilities for new kinds of services and new ways of involving our audiences. BBC R&D, as an independent uh, from industry body, brings clarity of thought and looking to the future, and that allows industry to get stuff right. If we didn't have BBC R&D to assist in that process, we'd, we'd have to invent them, and we don't know how we'd achieve that. 